guys finally got a package i've been waiting for since i got home let me get it it's outside i just got a little text that says oh your package was delivered so let me go get it <clears throat> Yes, yes, yes. Welcome to another episode of Cutie Mail. It's been a while. Okay guys, so this time, I think you can guess what it is. It's a, it's a huge package. Um, now this is another diorama by Lawless Studios. After that first one you guys saw that I got, I was very impressed. Very, very impressed. And um, as soon as his commissions opened again, I was uh, able to snag a spot. And um, if you do want to contact him, I'll leave his info down below if you guys want to hit him up on there. But Okay, so what I asked for was, can you make a little... So you guys know in Dragon Ball Super, it's not a spoiler, the Tournament of Power, the latest arc. Uh, it's a humongous arena. And I asked for maybe a little spot inside of the arena by the time pole. <coughs> and maybe he can bring that to life. And I let him do his thing. And uh, he's been posting pictures on the gram, teasing me. And I've been seeing all the pics and... Um, it looks good, so I can't wait to open it and put it in the diorama, but, um, he threw his info up here first. Alright guys, so there's a little quick look at his, uh, info. Hopefully you guys can read it, but if not, I'll leave it everything linked. I'll leave everything linked down below. Alright guys, so the last time I got a dio, I got super excited and I was, um, worried about recording. I didn't, like, uh, enjoy it as much, so I'm gonna actually take a look at this and look at it and play with it. And then I'll give you guys a very detailed look about everything and uh, like, like a review I guess but I'll, uh, I'll be back okay I'm gonna have fun with this I'm gonna get a setup and stuff in this video hopefully <coughs> so after I uh, get familiar with it I'll show you guys alright this is how it looks before you uh, you uh, open it um, but I wanted to show you guys the first diorama I got by him it's uh, very nice in the sunlight right now so as you can see it's very nice work and it's specifically for the detolve because that's where I'm going to put it. So I'm actually going to move this one down and set it up down here so I can put the new one on top. So let me get this set up and then I'll show you guys in detail my new diorama, right? Okay, you guys, what's up? Uh, I've been I took a day to really play with the dial and set some figures up on it and stuff. I posted some pics on my Instagram. I actually set it up on my bed because it's too big to put it on my desk. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to give you guys a, a look at this and... Um, Hopefully you guys like it as much as I do. I really, I really like this piece. Again, thank you to my brother, my bro Ron at Lawless Studios. Always does great work. So um, let's do it. So all the pieces that you see on here are removable. So like these, this one right here. So you don't have to like keep it all in one place. Everything is removable. So let me take these off so you can get a closer look at the base itself. And this large piece is also removable. Okay, and this also is removable. So this is supposed to be the time pole, and uh, not complete, of course. Just like the bot, like the almost the top. You know how time is running out in the Tournament of Power. And also, I'm not gonna spoil anything for uh, Dragon Ball Super. The Tournament of Power is just the arc, the name of the arc. Um, that was the latest arc in the show. If you, you, I recommend the Dragon Ball Super if you guys want to watch that. But uh, let me show you guys the time pole. So this is it right here. And at the top, it's like a little nice design right there. And on the back of it, it's just uh, the black because you're not going to be able to see this on the display. But let me give you guys a size comparison with the figure. Here's the size comparison. Okay, so here's the base. Um, this came out so cool. So he did the sculpted lines and everything and he painted in blue and green. Just uh, to kind of resemble the anime. I just sent him a couple pics. I'm like, do your thing, bro. You can uh, give it your own spin on it if you want. Um, I don't want it to be super accurate, but whatever you got, whatever you want to do, um, I let him do his thing, and it just came out awesome. So right here, I got the nice design. Then we got the beige line, and then this is where the time pole is supposed to be. So in the corner, set this up right here, and then um, that's the base. And uh, here's the what you see on the sides so yeah if you do want to have it displayed like this without any um anything on it you could as well so here's a figure on that and that's how it would look let me show you guys all the accessories that he threw in with it let me turn my settings down a little bit to show you guys the detail so he threw in three rocks just look at this one that one's pretty cool and then this other uh, more f uh, flatter rock and then this is the third rock he threw in he threw some of these pillars in as well. 
check this one out. They're like the ones from the last dial I received. And this other small one that's connected. So you got those two, the three rocks. And then he gave me these also that com came in little baggies. So I guess these are the kind of like debris or you could put them on the ground or anything. You could also set them down on other parts of the diorama if you like. So they just give you a lot of options. Here's a look at the other one that he threw in. And he painted a little blue thing to some, uh, resemble the, the arena. And the detail is pretty crazy on these things. So as you can see, he killed it with this one. Here's the last one. With some green and blue in there. And like some debris and stuff. Man, these look awesome. So you can move these around. Put them wherever you like. So yeah, it was these three pieces that came in the little baggies. Hey guys, I have another comparison. Here's the Apocalypse Builder figure. Standing around the same height. Alright, so we got the time pull on. And then this is one of my favorite pieces right here. It's like a four step uh, corner. And uh, let me give you guys a close up. Got all the detail on that. The little rocks and stuff to paint. So yeah, this is one of my, it's probably my favorite piece that comes with it. So you set this one up in the corner there. And um, here's another really cool one. He threw this one in and uh, I saw in his picture that he took. He actually, because uh, these are separate pieces, he put this one on top of that one. So it looks like it's a big pillar. And I, I set this one up on the side here. You could have other smaller ones right here. Let me set this down. Right there, wherever you like. And the cool thing is you don't have to put them all at once. You could uh, pretty much set it however you want. So that's the awesome thing about it. They're, they're not glued on. The possibilities are cool for pictures and stuff. I'm going to try to take a few pics. Here's another piece that you can put on the top of the base. Just throw in one of these. This one as well. I was using this one earlier with um, Piccolo. And I'll try to set up, I'll do a little quick setup for you guys so you can see it at the end. There's that one. And we get this bigger piece. Again with all the rocks and everything, so. Super cool man, Ron you killed it with this piece. I think this might be the first uh, tournament of power diorama. I haven't really seen any yet, but I'm sure people are working on them. So that's pretty much the diorama guys, uh, I showed you guys all the accessories. So yeah guys, I really like this diorama, I don't know about you guys, but I think it's awesome. Uh, it really reminds me of the show and I sent it, I sent uh, a picture of it to a lot of people and uh, they seem to like it. So hopefully you guys are liking it back at home. Like I said, if you guys are interested, uh, hit him up on Instagram. He's a really cool dude, he uh, sends you updates and everything. Certified, I promise you guys, he's, uh, he's uh, good to go, he's uh, certified. So yeah guys, hopefully I wasn't missing anything. If uh, if you want to see anything up close, hit up my Instagram. It's at Essos Hunters. We're almost at 3,000 subscribers. Not subscribers. We're almost at 3,000 followers on there. So if you want to follow me, go right ahead. That will be pretty much appreciated, guys. And uh, let me show you guys how it looks inside the Detolf. And we'll get a quick display going. All right, guys? All right, guys. So I got a little display going, a little quick display that I did. So let me show you guys, and then let me show you guys how I set up my uh, other diorama that I had. Okay, so before I show you the, the other one, the new one, here's my old one that I got. Uh, I have it displayed right now. Shrunk some Vegeta right there, TN powering up back there. I threw Cell in there, and then I got the Android. It's just missing Android 18, and uh, yeah, that's still one of my favorite dials. Here is the new one. Let me open this up. So check out Universe 7. I got the two Super Saiyan blue Saiyans in the front. I didn't have a normal Goku body, so I used the God Goku. And then that's the premium color Vegeta with the blue um, head on it. And that's the figureized model kit Krillin right there. A great, a great option if you don't want to spend the money on the SH Figure Arts version. I added some of these, uh, these little rock things. Like this one as well right here. And I put uh, Gohan and Piccolo back there. Really good duo back there. And then I got Golden Freeze on the top. And I think it looks cool. I really want to get like a background or something. Like it could be like the, the color of the sky that like in the anime. 
and then like some sky right here like the clouds and stuff that will be awesome but yeah guys that's all I did a little quick display so that you guys could see how it looks like and here's how it looks with the light turned off yeah but overall the diorama I love it uh, it looks so much cooler in person and uh, makes it really easy for you to uh, pose up your figures and display them so that's why I really like it and uh, hopefully you guys like the diorama too and this is a very tight fit as well but it does fit and I like how big it is <clears throat> so that's a little quick display guys hopefully you enjoyed and I hope you're enjoying all the videos from C2E2 if you haven't checked those out I uh, I would like if you guys checked them out because it was my first time going to a big con like that meeting uh, Cincy Nerd, Josh, Foxy, Toy Bills, everyone, Kyle and it was a really cool experience so if you want to check those videos out they're uh, right before this video as always thank you guys for watching check out the links down below and I'll catch you guys next time later guys that's crispy